working a partner. So you will each get three cookies to work with. So choose who's going to work on which three of the faces. You need to first unscrew each cookie so that the icing is on only one side. So you just gently twist the cookie and if some of the icing gets on it, you might just want to gently scrape it back on there and reform it. Um, and the side without the icing, you can just put that to the side. Go ahead and do that for each cookie here. So first we're going to start with interphase. Um, in interphase, the chromosomes, they start to coil up and replicate. So we're going to be taking um, our chromosomes, which are the sprinkles, and you're going to be placing them in the icing, and I'm choosing just three colors, um, to model replication. Prophase, the chromosomes start cooling up and forming the X-shaped chromosomes. So we're going to take the same color sprinkles, so I used pink, orange, and green here. I'm going to use the same sprinkles, but I'm going to arrange them into an X-shape. As you can see, I'm doing right here. Um, and you're just going to push them into the icing. Oops. And the chromosomes at this point are not lined up in any particular configuration. So you can just put the X's anywhere. But the most important part to remember is we want to keep the colors the same so that we can see the changes from one step to the other. So I'm still going to be using pink, orange, and green. The next step is metaphase. In metaphase, the chromosomes, the X-shaped chromosomes, light up in the middle of the, the cells. So I'm going to take the same colors, pink, orange, and green, and I'm going to create these X's that are lined up in the center of the cell. Next up is anaphase. In anaphase, uh, the chromosomes are going to start pulling apart from each other from the center of the, the, the cell. So we're going to be showing the sprinkles pulling away. So use the same three colors that you use in metaphase and arrange them in the same order that you did so we see the changes from metaphase to anaphase. So I started with pink at the top so I'm going to show pink on opposite sides of the cell pulling away because the X is pulled away. The next step is telophase. In telophase, the chromosomes that have moved apart are going to start to uncoil and also the cytoplasm begins to spin, pinch. The nucleus also starts to form. And because the chromosomes are uncoiling, you don't necessarily have to follow the same order that you did in anaphase. So I'm actually going to put the chromosomes a little bit less order-like order um, on my cookie like that just to show the chromosomes kind of relaxing a little bit more. The last step is cytokinesis and in cytokinesis the cytoplasm divides and splits the cell completely in half. So go ahead and put the sprinkles on just like how you did for telophase. And then you are going to take your cookie and you're going to gently break it in half. And it's a little bit tricky. Try to get it in the middle, but if it's not perfect, it's okay. As long as it's in half and half of the chromosomes are in one cell and the other half are in the other cell. And that's it. As soon as you finish that, uh, call me over and I'm going to check it. Also, make sure you get a picture of your work to save on your iPad.